guys. Hello guys, uh, today I wanted to make a quick video regarding, let's say you got a death issue and you got both light blinking, yellow, the red light stop light. You do a region, it works and again it throws another check engine light and now your speed is limited to 55 miles an hour sometimes th these truck will even uh, derate the motor and don't let you run over 30 depending on the manufacturer what could you do in that scenario you're on the side of the highway you need to get home and um, you're pretty much stuck there so this is an E10 transmission. Majority of the transmissions are similar. 90% of the transmission used in the US, especially are E10 brand. What you look for is underneath the truck. This is where the shaft will be connected. And this is your speed sensor. So what you wanna do, you don't need to pull this out. Uh, actually, you can't really pull this out without any uh, without any tools because over time, through the heat cycles, it gets frozen stuck in there. Sometimes you might need a hammer to pull it out. So what you want to do, there's a plug here that connects to the uh, speed sensor. You unplug it. Now the truck computer don't know how fast as the truck is going. So this is a way you can uh, save a road call and get home if you're close by. And depending on how much the engine is derated. Uh, if you got a 500 horsepower and they do a 15 or 20% derate, you still got quite a, enough horsepower to get over the hills and go home. Uh, all depends on how good is your day going, <laughs> really. Uh, so you unplug it, two things happen. Your odometer stopped working and also your cruise control is not gonna work. Your Jake brake does work. So uh, make sure if you, uh, doing this you're experienced. Uh, you don't wanna be doing this if you only got, your license is only a month old or two months. You need to be a seasoned driver if you're gonna be messing around with your unit. Um, so you just unplug it. Your speed odometer doesn't work. Your uh, cruise control doesn't work. What you could do is, um, majority of the trucks use GPS. And with the GPS, you can look at the speed, how fast you're going. And you want to stay under the speed limit because any phone or any other form of uh, unit that you're using to measure your speed might not be accurate. So that's something you wanna keep in mind. So yeah, so the computer doesn't know how fast the truck is going. You can get to 60, 70, whatever you need to do to get home. Uh, and uh, uh, you can get your truck fix, uh, fixed then. So this is something that you can do on the road, even if you're a fleet uh, owner operator or a fleet driver. Um, and majority of the time, if you get something done over the road, uh, it's gonna be a road call. Once you get uh, call someone, they're probably gonna tow you to their facility. And you know, uh, right now the rate market is garbage you're not making any money and you end up spending thousands on the road you know, uh, instead of making any money you end up paying out of pocket uh, and yeah hopefully this saves you on the road and if you like my content please like share subscribe and hit the ring button and you guys have a good day bye bye